So many people book a trip, buy a camera, and expect to create amazing travel videos. Unfortunately, you need to learn a few things if you want your videos to turn out well. Luckily for you, I'm here to fast track your learning curve and teach you all the key things that I wish I knew when I was starting out. Let's get into it. Blaze here with Moves Media. Thanks for tuning into my channel. In this video, I'm gonna give you five steps to create vacation videos that you'll truly be proud of to share with your friends and your family. Make sure to also stay tuned for the end of the video where I'm gonna give you some additional pro tips that will really set your videos up for success. To make great videos, you don't need any prior camera or filming experience. You just need some patience and willingness to learn the simple skills that will make all the difference. The first thing you'll need is a camera. A lot of people think this is the most important part about creating good videos, but in reality, it's actually the least important. Good videos are all about the story and sequence that you put together and not the image or picture quality that you're filming. For cameras, I personally recommend a GoPro for my travel videos. It's rugged, waterproof, easy to use, and quick to pull out of your bag or pocket and capture moments on the fly. If you already have a camera, don't feel like that you need to go out and buy a new camera for your trip. Use what you have, and you can also just use the camera on your phone if you are on a budget. Don't focus too much on your gear, focus on the sequence that you're capturing, which brings us to step two. Whenever you film a video, you want to have a plan. The biggest mistake that beginners make when they're filming videos is that they just try to capture every moment that they can and think that they'll be able to choose the bits that they wanna use when they're editing their video later. This is a terrible way of thinking because you end up wasting so much time, not only filming, but having to sift through all the endless amounts of footage, trying to find the few good bits that you actually shot. Having a plan can be as simple as deciding on the approximate length uh, on how long you want your final video to be and noting the type of shots that you'll wanna capture. When I went on my trip to Maui with my family and friends, uh, this is what my pre-trip video plan looked like. You can see the results of the video that I made in the video description below. I guarantee you the more that you plan your video in advance, the better your video will be. Take some time to watch other travel videos, get some ideas, and think about how you want to apply these elements into your video. Make an outline of your trip and have a rough idea of how many shots you'll need to get to complete your desired video duration. Step number three is shooting your video. I'm not gonna go into all the options for camera settings or shot types that you can do, but if you're interested in a more detailed breakdown and a full template for making amazing videos, check out my GoPro video course, which I'll link in the video description below. The course gives you templates to work off, teaches you how to film, edit, and gives you tons of pro tips for making videos awesome. When it comes to filming your video, the most important thing to focus on is keeping your clips short. Whenever you hit that record button, don't record for more than five to 10 seconds at any given time. There are some exceptions to this rule, like if you're filming a vlog and you're talking on camera, but you'll see in my sample video, which I linked in the video description below, each clip that I in the two minute video is only about two seconds long each. So you only need to film for five or 10 seconds for each clip to give yourself a bit of buffer room where you can then trim your clip down when you're editing. The biggest difference between professional and amateur videos is that professional videos use short clips. Keep your clips short when you're filming and cut your clips even shorter to a maximum of two or three seconds each when you're editing your video together. The next step to making a great travel video is editing your footage. There are a lot of editing softwares out there, but the truth is you don't need anything too fancy. If you're new to editing, I suggest using iMovie if you're on a Mac or Adobe Rush if you're on a PC. Both these programs are free and should give you everything that you need to create a great video. All you're doing when you're editing your, your videos are trimming each of your clips down, putting your clips together, sequencing them in an order that makes sense, uh, and adding some music. It's basically a glorified, glorified slideshow with video clips instead of images. What's gonna really make your video stand out though is if you're able to tell some kind of story through your sequence. For travel videos, this can be as simple as just showing your clips in the order of how they happened and showing your viewers the story of your trip. I also like to have an intro that showcases each person of the trip and then maybe some scenic shots to showcase the place that you're visiting. Then the core part of your video is just the highlights of each of the things that you did while you're on your trip. You can also include individual moments or several clips that showcase specific activities that you did while you were there. The final thing I wanted to share is something that makes your footage look more cinematic, and that's slow motion. When I'm filming travel videos, I like to film everything in 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. 
This gives you the option to put your clips into buttery smooth slow motion. And if you want to learn more about camera settings and filming in slow motion, make sure to check out my full GoPro video course, which I've linked below, where I go into a lot more detail about this. But if you just want to uh, set your camera settings and forget them, then I encourage you guys set your camera to 4K resolution at 60 frames per second, and it should be a good option for to give you a lot of versatility and different options when you're editing your footage. I wanted to give you guys a few additional pro tips um, about camera movement and framing. When it comes to capturing your clips, don't go crazy when it comes to camera movement. So many people think that it will look cool if you do wild and crazy camera movements. The best thing that you can do is hold your camera still and keep it steady. The dynamic shots actually come from what's happening in your scene and not the, mo the movement of your actual camera. When it comes to framing your shots, think of each clip uh, as if it was a photo. Create a nice aesthetically pleasing composition and then hit that record button and get your shot. The last pro tip I wanted to offer is staying close to the action. When it comes to video, the closer you are to your subjects, the more emotion and feeling that you're gonna get from your shot. There are so many more tips that I wanna give you guys, but it's also important to not get overwhelmed. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you liked this video, make sure to smash that like button, consider subscribing to my channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials helping you make great content and share what moves you.